faith like a, a little flower on a rock that as soon as a difficulty comes the faith is washed away and it disappears. And what's the value of something like that? That our life is to have a firm belief and to be rooted deep within the soil and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and what make these pious souls, their roots are so deep into that soil, into that reality that they are like evergreens. They are an evergreen tree that is continuously giving out realities firm in its belief and its understanding and their purpose is to take everybody to that state of a temporary existence temporary belief. Most believe when things are good, that's not belief. Belief is when things are bad and Allah asks, who's better, the one whom walking happy when everything's good or the one whom walks upright on a beaten path? Means the path is continuously broken and they are satisfied with their Lord and their Lord is satisfied with them. So. This path is about enduring through difficulties and having the best of character. That if in your life you should meet somebody who claims to be Jewish, somebody claims to be Christian, somebody claims to be Muslim, somebody claims to be whatever they label themselves with but yet their actions are not good, their heart is not filled with empathy and love and compassion for God's creation, for Allah's creation, whatever they call their religion is worthless. Whatever they call themselves is worthless in Allah's eyes. They are the worst of ambassadors for faith. It's not a label. Islam is not a, it's not a noun, it's a, a way of life. When we say we are Muslim, means we are in a continuous state of submitting myself, my desires and my will to what Allah wants. Allah not submitting to me what I want. Every difficulty in this world is based on people wanting something and Allah wanting something different. And there lies the conflict with their Lord. That's why it didn't happen, why I asked for du'a it didn't come, why I asked for money it didn't come, why I asked for this it didn't come. Who said it was supposed to come? This was about having good character and submission. Sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslim. Pray and praise upon the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and only Allah come and clarify that Arabic for them is to taslim. Bring your head and your feet, your head to the feet of Sayyidina Muhammad and beg, beg Prophet that my sujood for Allah but my sujood of ihtiram, my, my sujood of ihtiram and respect that please let me keep my head at your feet and your foot on my neck. Don't let my head to go somewhere else. Don't let my submission to be to something else. Don't let my deen to, to waver in the wind like a flag that going in all different directions. Give me firmness. Ya Sayyidina Siratul Mustaqeem Prophet's name is Siratul Mustaqeem. That if you keep my head under your qadam, I'm safe. And that's why they're continuously in a state of meditation that I'm not somebody worthy of seeing you. Don't keep staring and looking to the shaykh's face and keep looking at his face, not for somebody to look like that. You have to approach that reality because he's a training for the reality of Prophet Then who are you to look into his face and ask to see the face of Prophet So they taught us to be humble, even if you can. We don't. He said, who am I to do with all my dirtiness, who am I to keep looking at you like that? Let me say, Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib Azim, you're the Rahmah of Allah 
it, no door will open but your door, let me just to keep my head at your feet. Just let me to see your beautiful sandal and your beautiful foot. This is my whole tafakkur, just let me just to see your holy feet and to be with that firmness of my faith that I'm not going to leave this maqam, this station, this reality. And that's all they need. If later Prophet asks you that, look up. He has to give permission look up at me. But we don't ever approach something staring at it because that's an, that's an arrogance. So Nabi Musa said, I want to see you. Allah said, Who's, who are you to see me? It's not the way Prophet Khuluqul Azim came to teach, you are of a magnificent character. And then Prophet comes that his whole teaching is character, what he inspires within holy people and people whom are following only Allah is the perfection of character. If your character is good, your akhlaq is good, that you're honest and truthful and you try your best not to lie, you have good characteristic but your amal is weak, you are definitely in a high station. High station and it's hadith of Prophet There are some whom their character is beautific and much loved by Allah but their actions are weak. They don't have the ability, they don't have the himmah for all the ibadah but they're dear to Allah and Allah from Awliya Allah will make an angel to be in existence to perfect the ibadah and the worshipness of the servant where he's coming short or she's coming short. It's not something difficult for Allah but because he's so pleased with the good character and that's why then he tests them, tests them. The test is to show the quality of who we are. If every time a test comes and the person is, is of a different character then Allah is pointing out, look at these characteristics. These I'm not pleased with. So the whole school was about the perfection of character. Then no matter what somebody calls their outer form, I'm this, I'm that, whatever you want to call yourself, if you're not good inside, your outside is of no value to Allah and that's why Hadith of Prophet described, if there's one part of you good, all of you is good. If one part of you bad, all of you bad. So that is the hadith explained in English. If your heart is good, Allah loves you. Whatever He wrote for your form and whatever He wrote for your, your religion, Allah loves you because your heart is good. But if your heart is bad, whatever you want to call yourself, it's bad to Allah so this school is a school of the way of love, our path is the path of muhabbat and love. Teach them good character and if their actions are weak and we're all weak and we're struggling, sometimes you these songs, these nasheeds, these, these shair are from big awliya who suffered greatly in the way of Allah This one from Sami Yusuf, I asked for him to learn with Raj that I'm driftwood now and I'm overcome. Their life was like a piece of wood in an ocean of Allah's oceans that had no ending. He slapped them around so much in their testing they don't know when their wood is going to land on a shore whether it's a piece on this earth or they're ready to die and go into heaven. But let the wood to get out of all of this bombardment. And I have no one but you Khuda, I have no one but you. So all of their, their teachings were their system was to recite it so that it was an oral tradition. When you recite with your children they memorize these words. So they're remembering and memorizing the teachings. Anytime you listen to these awliya kalam and they say, May khana, it's not a bar, don't be so primitive and, and, and narrow-minded. Is a state of intoxication. They're playing on the people of suffering in this world, they run to the bars to medicate themselves from all their gam, all their sadness, and all their sufferings. If they were happy, they would not be doing those things.
So awliya come and play with the word and say that, we have a better me for you. We have a state of spiritual drunkenness where if we have good character and we sit in their associations and we meditate, their khana, their home is the home of all the drunken souls of Divine Love. They're continuously drinking from the nectar of Allah fountains in paradise that leave their entire soul, their entire being to be intoxicated with Allah's love. And the people don't want to leave and they want to sit for hours drinking more and more of that nectar. They say, be like a, a moth to the fire that have the desire to go into the flame and burn yourself. Run to Allah that fire that you're scared of thinking you're going to lose your money if you have a beard, you're going to lose your money if you have your hat, you're going to lose your money if I sit with them. Allah saying, don't worry about all of that, run to the flame, run to the flame. Have such a love in your heart that pushes you to go into the flame. And later you're going so much into the flame, so much into the flame means you became from ashiqan and you're so intoxicated with their love, always trying to be in their association, why don't you become yourself a fire? Not only you have to sit with them, why don't you try to escalate your reality so that you be from that reality? Because first you come with love and say, I want to just sit with them because they have so much power, so much love coming. Then these nasheeds are, are singing to you that, that's beautiful that you keep finding a fire that you want to go around, but why you don't just become the fire that you're seeking? You sit with them, you sit with them, but what Allah, Allah wants from us is, why don't you become them? Why don't you bring that fire into your own being and ignite? And if you become that flame then many moths will be around you. Means take the state, enter into that state and the best of states is with good character. A reminder for myself that these, this way is only good character. And we pray that Allah dress us, bless us with good character. The result of that character should be immense love for the Divinely Presence inshaAllah. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.